In this example, we want to find an equation of the normal line to the curve of y equals square root x that is parallel to the line of 6x plus y equals to 1. Okay, so uh, to understand what this problem is asking for, let's uh, first get a uh, basic understanding of what is given. Okay, uh, so we have, the we have the curve of y equals square root x, so that's going to look something like this. Okay. redraw it a little bit better so something like this okay and we have a line okay here so if we put this into mx plus b form okay we're going to get y equals to minus 6x plus 1 okay so that is a line with a slope of minus 6 and a y-intercept of 0 1 okay so I'm going to go ahead and plot that line so let's say this is at 1 and um, let's pick another value for reference. So let's use x equals to one half. Okay. Okay. So for x equals one half, okay, we're going to get minus six one half. Okay. Okay. So that's going to give us negative three plus one. That's going to give us minus two. Okay, so, um, so at one half and two, okay, let's say just for the time being, let's say this is at one half and then down here is going to be, uh, we're gonna have negative two, okay. So, and let's say negative two is here. Okay, so we have two points, okay. So that line is gonna go through these two points, okay. something like this, all right. Okay, so, so we wanna find the equation of the normal line, okay. So the normal line means that it's going to be perpendicular to the tangent line, okay. So the line we want, okay, it's gonna be uh, somewhere out here. Let's say, and it's going to be parallel. Uh, it's going to be parallel to the equation of the line that we're given. Okay. All right. And so remember, so that remember the normal line will be perpendicular to the uh, tangent line. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and draw in the tangent line here. Okay, so this is perpendicular, okay. So the tangent line and the normal line and the, um, and the graph of square root x, they all intersect at this one point here, okay. All right, so now what we can do is uh, we can go ahead and uh, use the fact that we know the slope of the, we know the slope of the line given, so since the normal line that we're trying to find, okay, that has this, that's parallel to the line given. So that means they have the same slope, okay. So the slope, okay, of the normal line is going to be minus 6, okay. All right, again, because it's parallel to the, uh, to the line that we're given. All right, so now using that, okay, we can, we need, so we need to figure out, okay, remember that we're trying to find the equation of the normal line. So we need a, we need a slope and we also need a point, okay. Um, okay, so, okay, so we need to figure out where this, we need to figure out what this point is, okay. So I'm gonna call it x1. Okay, and there's a corresponding y value. I'm going to call that y1. Okay. All right. So we know the slope of the normal line is negative 6. Okay. So remember that if, the, uh, if you have a slope of 
a, a, a tangent. So if you have a slope of two lines, or I'm sorry, the, if you have equations of two lines that are perpendicular to each, perpendicular to each other, uh, that when you multiply their slopes, they're gonna, that's going to give you minus 1. Okay, so we can use this information now. So the slope okay, of the tangent line is going to be mine, uh, positive 1, 6. Okay. Right, because since right, since we have, um, let's see, we have the slope. So I'm gonna say slope of the normal line is minus six, and the slope of the tangent line is one six. Okay, so we when we multiply those, okay, we get minus one. Okay, and so that is the. Uh, that is the property for lines that are perpendicular uh, in regards to their slopes. Okay, so now using that, then we can use that information, and we can take the derivative of the of the square root function, and set it equal to one six. Okay, so that's the next step. Okay, we're going to find. Okay. Okay, so we're going to use. Okay, use the or I should say, set the derivative of y equals square x equal to 1, 6. Okay, because that is the slope of the tangent line that we found. Okay, so let's take the derivative. Let's do that up here. Okay, so y is equal to square root x, that's the same as x to the power 1 half. Okay, so using the power rule, we're going to get 1 half x to the negative 1 half. Subtract, right, subtract 1 from 1 half. And this is the same as minus, sorry. Okay, this is the same as 1 over 2 root x. Okay. So taking that, okay, and so we're going to take the derivative, okay, so that's the derivative, and we're going to set it equal to 1, 6. Okay, that will allow us to find uh, the slope, I'm sorry, to find the point at which we're this, um, where the tangent line and the, and the normal line intersect each other. Okay, so to solve this, uh, we can uh, take the reciprocal of both sides. Okay, and then uh, this is going to give us square root x equals to 3. And so therefore, x, uh, we square both sides, so therefore x is 9. Okay, so that means this value is equal to 9. Okay. Okay, so since x is 9, that means the y, of course, my y value will be equal to square root of 9, which is 3. Okay, so we have our point now. Okay, so using the slope, okay, and using the coordinate, we can find our equation of the normal line. Okay, Okay, using our point which was 9, 3. And the slope, the slope of the tangent line, I'm sorry, the, the normal line was, okay, that was negative 6. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're going to get y minus y1 okay, equals to m times x minus x1. So using the point slope form, so we have y minus 3 equals to negative 6 times x minus 9. 
Okay, so this is going to give us y equals to minus six times x minus nine plus three. So that's gonna be y equals to minus six x plus 54 plus three. And therefore we have minus uh, y equals to minus six x plus 57. Okay. So that is our solution. Okay, so that is the uh, equation of the normal line. And again, the normal line, okay, the normal line is perpendicular to the tangent line, okay? So going back, okay, so we first identify what's given. Um, we have the square of x, and then we are given the uh, equation of the line, okay, which has a y-intercept of 0, 1. And then from there, we can... Once once we recognize the slope of that line, then we know uh, since the two lines are going to be parallel, okay, right? We want to find the line that find the equation line that's parallel. So that means that the line we're trying to find will have the same slope, okay? Uh, that is negative six. And then so we know in that case since the normal line and the tangent line. There, when you multiply their slopes, it's equal to negative 1. So therefore, the slope of the tangent line is going to be the negative reciprocal of minus 6. Okay, so that is a property from pre-calculus. Okay. So the slope of the tangent line is 1, 6. Okay. And then we can take the, we took the derivative of the uh, square root of x, set that equal to the slope of the tangent line, and that gave us our, our coordinate. Okay. Okay, so that gave us the x value, and then we just evaluate the function at x to give us the y value that gave us our coordinate and then we use the slope of the normal line and then that that's how we got the equation of the normal line okay